outside of Seller Central and I'm gonna go over the different match types. Okay, so uh, we have here an ad group called Garlic Press Test and we have Garlic Press as a keyword match type exact, Garlic Press keyword match type phrase, Garlic Press keyword match type broad. Now, here are, oh, I don't have an auto campaign, but I also put examples for auto campaign. So we're gonna start uh, from the bottom to the top here. So first, an exact type match. So when a customer, uh, first of all, let's let me explain what this is. So what is a keyword? Uh, in these ads, a keyword is the phrase that you, uh, as the seller or the advertiser, are gonna say that you want. Okay, so you literally create keywords over here and you press create keywords and you press, okay, I wanna, I wanna show up for garlic press. Okay, now the match type will determine if you show up on a very exact um, search. So for an exact match type, it is exactly that. So if a, someone searches for this keyword garlic press, if someone searches either garlic press or garlic presses so the exact keyword that you put in or a plural version and of course Amazon sometimes is smarter than other times on getting the plurals um, so this is somewhat unpredictable but just know it's the exact one and the plural version and there is another like thing where they ignore something so if for example I put uh, my keyword is garlic press and it's gonna show up for garlic presses like this because it's gonna ignore this however that's kind of you, you may or may not need to know that right away okay then phrase match so over here again you're saying the keyword is garlic press hey I'm a garlic press I want to show up for garlic press but you're saying the match type is phrase so in this case like before you're gonna show up for garlic press and garlic presses but you'll also show up when there are other words in front or in back of your keyword so high quality garlic press so garlic press has to appear okay but they can have additions they can say high quality garlic press or black garlic press or steel garlic press and then it can be also garlic press and peeler garlic press for kids garlic press for the kitchen so anything after garlic press anything can be put here and then garlic and phrase match will show up on all of these and now notice uh, it also includes the same ones that exact match includes okay then broad match okay so broad is uh, is pretty good and, and Amazon has broad a little bit different than some other platforms so you may think you know this and Amazon does it differently. So for broad match, does the same garlic press, garlic presses just like exact, and then also does high quality garlic press just like phrase. But then it adds switching the word around. So here you see it says press for garlic stainless steel. So here press shows up before garlic. However, garlic and the press both have to be in this customer search term so literally the customer types in Amazon press for garlic stainless steel if you have only phrase and exact your ad will not show up for that person you will not bid you will not pay uh, to put your product in front of that person only if you have broad match will show up for press for garlic stainless steel if obviously you're using the keyword garlic press all right and then automatic campaign is like really crazy pretty much Amazon just looks at your listing looks at its database looks at a bunch of stuff and then just makes their own decisions on what they're gonna uh, put your product or put your ad show your product based on the customer search term so a person can type Prime Day and you're bidding on that now as you probably might realize a person who typed in Prime Day is probably not that likely to buy from you if you're bidding a lot of dollars on auto you can lose a lot of money because they're just browsing and they don't even want to buy what you want to sell. Mini Tiki, super random. This is literally a search that shows up, uh, let's say for garlic press, 
uh, they'll just put some random things in there. You know, Oxo Tools, Oxo is a kitchen company, Tools, you know, they might think that the yeah, garlic press is similar in some way. Um, add on item, just random, like it doesn't have anything to do with your product. It's just a thing on Amazon, so they'll put it in there. And then of course, it'll also target things that are relevant, like garlic press from it. And automatic is basically, they're just putting random things and seeing how you do. And there's really not much to know. And then there's also a case where they put in an ASIN. So it's gonna look like something like this. Now, what that is, it's showing up on Amazon under, uh, in the middle of the listing, there's a, uh, a thing that says sponsor products related to this item. And this, this ASIN, Amazon Center Identification Number, corresponds to a, a specific product. So not based on keyword, but automatic will also put your ad on competitors' uh, listings. Okay, so that is an introduction to Amazon sponsored ads.